welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some flea market finds that I found from my American Girl dolls. Um, I want to start off this video by saying that this is actually my second time filming this video. And let me just say, I'm so sorry, I'm going to ramble for a bit. I am very sad and disappointed because... The video that I had originally, um, I showed the cleaning process of everything and I won't spoil too much until we get to the part I'm really upset about but basically something happened with my computer and it kind of just crashed on me so not only did my video erase everything but I am currently computerless which is where I edit my video so it's been really hard trying to post something for you guys so I just wanted to start off by saying that I'm so sorry for that. And I am taking my computer to Apple today, so I hope that things will start looking a little better for me because um, this was a great video and it still can be a good video. Um, it just definitely isn't going to have everything that I would like for it to, but I wanted to start off by letting you guys know that. And So the first thing that I found at the flea market that is American Girl related is this bathroom vanity set that I believe retails at American Girl from like around $68. I know that this is a retired item, but this matches my doll's bathroom perfectly. Like this whole baby blue color is the theme of my doll's restroom along with the color baby pink because those are my two favorite colors. So I'm going to do a little close up to show you guys. So here is the bathroom and it did come with this American Girl toothbrush as you could tell from the star and then it also came with a bunch of other little accessories that I recognized from the My Life brand. Here's another little toothbrush and then there is some floss. And I did clean this up already. There are a couple of marks and stains that I couldn't get off just because I only had a disinfectant spray on me at the time but when I have more available items to clean this like some Clorox wipes or something I would definitely use that the lady was also kind enough to give me this it's not American Girl but she said that I could use this as like little cleaning spray for my dolls so I that was really nice of her and I like that idea so that's what I'm going to be using it for I'm going to make this into like little cleaning section so here are the drawers and everything and there is the sink and then of course the mirror and the lights on this don't work but all it needs is some batteries and then it will be all great so i was really happy to find this and i got this for just eight dollars so the next awesome doll find that i found was this our generation salon chair to do my american girl dolls hair I am so excited to finally have this because if you know me, I can sit for hours and hours doing my doll's hair, doing different braids and different styles just because it's so much fun. I love combing their hair and this actually does work. I believe to make it go up, you just have to push this yeah, here. Sorry, I know it's not the best angle, but... You can kind of tell that it did get a little bit higher and I got this for just five bucks. So that was a super awesome find. And the lady actually had two of them and I picked the one that looked the best to me. And yeah, it was a really great deal for just $5 and I love it so, so, so much. And I'm so excited to finally have something to use for doing my dolls here. All right, so the next thing that I got for my American Girl dolls is this, which is really, really cute. I got excited at first when I saw it and thought it said Houston because I do live in Houston, um, but it says Boston. And this is so, so cute and adorable to me. And I got two american girl brand t-shirts for just three dollars i believe this next one here is part of the old my ag outfit that the like truly me dolls used to come in i'm not sure but the velcro on both of them is amazing and i love the color pink so much and i'm really happy with these two finds okay guys now on to telling you my saddest part of this video I found two American Girl dolls at the flea market and not only did I find them at the flea market, I found them on my birthday so it was very exciting because my mom bought me one and my boyfriend was kind enough to buy me the other. 
So obviously the dolls were in very used condition and what I did was record the entire process of cleaning them, fixing their hair, curling their hair, straightening their hair, tightening their limbs, literally everything you can think of, I had it all recorded. So sadly, because of the clips being deleted, you won't be able to see that part and I'm so sorry but I will show you the two dolls that I found and how they look now after the process of being restored and all cleaned up and brought back to life. Okay, you guys, so here are my two new beautiful dolls. Now, let me just tell you, they did not look like this when I first got them. I took a lot of work and dedication to fixing them up and I couldn't be happier with the results. So this here on the left is McKenna, Girl of the Year 2012, and then we have Truly Me number 44, which is sadly now also retired alongside with McKenna. I cannot believe I found two dolls that were on my wish list, and it just so happened to be my birthday. So I am very, very grateful, but I wanted to tell you guys, I fixed up 44's hair all on my own, and I'm so excited to show you what the back of her hair looks like. So I did add a little bow in her hair, but hopefully you can tell just how pretty and curly her hair came out. There are definitely a lot of flyaways, but that doesn't really bother me. And this was my first time working with this type of hair texture and pattern. And I think that I did a great job and I couldn't be happier with how she came out. Now, I do need a name for number 44, so leave some name suggestions in the comments below. She has such a sweet face, and I really need a name for her. Now for McKenna, I got her in pretty good condition. Her hair really just needed some brushing and some love, and I did do a hot water dunk, and I did actually straighten her ends with a real straightener, which if you've never done that before, it's quite scary, but... Just go ahead and um, all you have to do is really wet their ends a lot and then quickly go over their hair with the straightener at the lowest setting. I also did tighten McKenna's limbs so they are really tight. And I do now have to hunt for her meat outfit but because she was such a great deal for just $30, I can spend a bit more than I would have liked to on her meat outfit since she was such a great price. But for now, I have her in the old My AG outfit, and I think she looks really, really adorable. So you guys, this was all for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. It sucks that this video didn't turn out the way I wanted, but I'm still really excited to show you all everything. And hey, this is just an excuse for me to buy another used doll and do a restoration video and show you guys. So, you know, not too much to be mad about. Um, but overall, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment some name suggestions for my number 44. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you so much and bye everyone!